Hello my friend, Amy Esther here, and in today's video we are talking all about compression socks. I wear compression socks all day, every day. It's just part of my routine. I always have my compression socks on. From the time I wake up until the time I go to bed. The only time I don't wear them is if I'm in the shower or I'm sleeping. Pretty much any other time I am wearing them because I have a condition called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome or POTS and because of that my blood does not circulate well and so it really helps me to wear compression socks. So we're going to talk a little more about them because I'm an expert on compression socks. I wear them all the time. I've tried all the brands. I'm going to tell you the best ones. I'm going to tell you why you should wear them, if you should wear them, and how to find your size and how to put them on. We're going to talk about all that today. Okay, so first of all, what are compression socks? Now, I'm not a definition person. I'm not a word person. So I'm going to head to Google and it's going to tell us from Wikipedia. It says compression stockings are elastic compression garments worn around the legs, compressing the limb. So compression socks are basically really tight socks <laughs> that you wear and they have all different sizes. I think they probably have some that just are on your feet, but the ones that I wear go up to my knees. So I wear mine from my toes to right below my knees. They have some that come up thigh length and then they have some that go all the way up to your belly and they go the whole way. So I've tried them all as someone who is probably considered an expert on compression socks, I definitely like the ones to my knees the best. Even though it maybe would help me to have them go higher, I don't like the other ones. And I get enough help from these that I don't feel like I need it. So the other options, the ones that go to your thighs, in my opinion, just don't stay up. I don't know, maybe if I don't know if it's the size of my thighs or what. They have a little elastic thing that's supposed to stay in place. I've never had them stay in place. I tried different sizes. I tried different brands. The higher ones just don't really work for me. And then the ones that go over my belly, first of all, I'm always pregnant and always nursing. <laughs> so I'm pretty much always pregnant and that's obviously not a healthy thing. But then also when I'm not pregnant, I get extremely bloated from another condition I have. <laughs> which is probably related to the pots. I don't know. But I get really bloated and it is incredibly uncomfortable to have something that tight on my stomach. So for me, I can't really do the hires. I don't think they're very comfortable. So I stick with the ones that just go below my knees. But then who should wear compression socks? So again, we're going to head to the internet. This website, nhs.uk, says that compression socks are specially designed to apply pressure to your lower legs, helping to maintain blood flow and reduce discomfort and swelling. They may be prescribed by your GP if you have a condition that causes poor blood flow in your legs, such as varicose veins, which are swollen or enlarged veins. So people who might want to wear them might have varicose veins. Also helps if you have a condition like mine where you have poor blood circulation. For me, my blood vessels don't constrict correctly when I stand up. And so my blood pools at my feet and struggles to get back up. So when I wear compression socks, it really, really helps. If I don't wear them, I am dizzy. My feet turn purple and itchy and sometimes I pass out. It's not good. So if you have a condition like POTS or another form of dysautonomia, they're probably a good option for you. Other conditions might be if you're pregnant. A lot of pregnant women, especially in the later months, benefit from having compression socks. Just helps with all that blood flow and getting things moving. So any type of thing that you struggle with <laughs> blood flow, compression socks might be helpful for you. Now, when I first heard of compression socks, I just thought they were the ones that runners wear. That I thought that was the only type that were, but there are others. Now I have more of a running type of compression sock here. And these for me are not, not good. Like they don't, they're just not tight enough for me. A lot of people wear these for running and they are cheap. These ones are a lot cheaper than the ones that I wear. Um, but I do buy a couple of these for myself because they are a lot easier to get on than the ones that I buy. And so if I'm just not feeling like putting them on. <laughs> Occasionally, I will put these on if I'm just feeling like I'm going to be in bed all day. But besides that, this kind is probably better for running. If you have more of a medical condition, there's one brand I would recommend. Okay. So I will link these down below. I just found them on Amazon. They're really cheap. You get them in like a three pack for 15 bucks. Now, if you think $5 a pair of socks 
is expensive, then just wait till I tell you about the socks that I buy. So my favorite brand is Jobst. Is that how you say it? J-O-B-S-T. I don't actually know. And all I want is for them to sponsor me. That's just my dream. So Jobst, please sponsor me because I will talk about you in every video. I love you so much. So these are the only ones that I will buy because I've tried so many other brands. I've tried different things. These are the only ones that I personally like. I even had a company reach out to me once uh, about sponsoring me with compression socks. And I said, no, I, I wear jobs. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not going to wear your compression socks. These are my compression socks. So I have two kinds that I wear. Now, the first have open toes. I wear these in the summer. So my toes are open. I can wear flip-flops with them. Like I said, I wear them all day, every day. Literally, I wear these with shorts. Now, I don't wear shorts very often. <laughs> and if I do, they are like long mom shorts. But I wear these with dresses. Like, I do not care what I look like. But I have my toes open. And then in the winter, I wear closed toes ones. So I have mostly just black and tan are the two pairs that I mostly buy. And... Yeah, winter is closed toes and summer is open toes. And that is how I do my compression socks. And I really think Jobst is the best. They're the only ones that I have found that do the job for me for my medical condition. Now, if you're pregnant, these will be just fine. These exercise running ones, they'll probably be just fine. I, I'm not your doctor, so consult your doctor, please, before you do anything here. But um, these probably would be just fine for you. If you have a medical condition, though, I highly recommend Jobst because they are made for medical conditions. In fact, I think you used to have to get a prescription to get the tightest ones. I, I now have found them online, so I don't know if that's changed, but this is the brand typically you would probably find at your pharmacy. So I'm a big fan of these. I used to buy them directly from their website. Now I buy them from Amazon um, just because then I get my prime shipping. <laughs> so I will link all these down below, but don't look at them until I talk to you about the rest of it. So far in my life, Jobst are the only ones that I trust. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say that another one won't come up. If you're a compression sock brand, you want me to try it, send them over. I'll give it a try, but I'm just telling you these are hard to beat. So if I ever talk about another one in the future... Just know that they're good because they got to be better than Jobs. The only thing I will say I don't like about Jobs before we move on is nothing to do with their brand. I don't think this is their fault. I think this is called I wear these every day, all day. And sometimes I put them in the dryer even though I know I'm not supposed to because I'm lazy. But <laughs> the heels always get holes in them every time. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Maybe this one will work. Um, I always get holes in the heels and it is extremely uncomfortable because then you get it really tight right around your heel. So I have to buy new ones for me probably three times a year. I would say they last me like four to six months max, probably more around four months. They probably last me about four months and then I need to buy new ones. And so once it's summer season, I buy a bunch of open toe ones. Once it gets colder, I buy a bunch of closed toe ones. But these are my older ones. I've since bought new ones because they are not comfortable once the heels have popped. But they always do. They always do. Every time. But I do wear them all day, every day. So, you know, not complaining about the brand. Just, just know that that does happen and you will have to buy more. They don't just last you forever. Okay, let's talk about sizing. How do you know what size you are? Because there's multiple sizes when you go to buy your compression socks. So if I were to link these exact ones in the description, which I will, but there's going to be multiple options for you. So these exact ones are 30 to 40 MMHG petite small. There are three different things you need to look at for the sizing. First is our small, medium, and large, which is just your body type. Are you typically a small when you go to the store, when you buy a t-shirt? Are you usually buying the smalls? Or are you usually buying the larges? So the first would be small, medium, and large, which is typical for when you buy socks or shirts or anything. There'll be a picture that will show you, hey, if your, the circumference of your calf is this size, you're a medium, and so on. So that one, you can kind of just measure that way. 
And the next size you want to know about is the petite, regular, or tall. And that tells you how long it is. How long does it go from the ankle to the knee? I used to buy just the regular and I find they're always just a little bit too long for me. So I would buy the petite. I'm 5'3", I'm pretty short. And so petite is great for me. I buy a small petite because the size of my calf fits the small <laughs> and I'm short. So if you're a tall person, who has maybe thinner legs, you might want a small tall. And then we need to look at the numbers. So I'm gonna read from www.legsmart.com. Compression socks have a range of numbers to indicate how much graduated compression the garment has. The standard compression levels for compression socks are 15 to 20 mmHg over the counter, 20 to 30 mmHg medical class one, 30 to 40 mmHg medical class two, and 40 to 50 mmHg medical class three. So I believe to get the 40 to 50, you need a prescription. Don't quote me on that, but I hey, haven't found any online. So I have found 30 to 40s are the tightest that I have seen online, and they're pretty rare. Like I think Jobs is the only one I have found that even holds a 30 to 40, at least on Amazon, and that's where I do most of my shopping. <laughs> so maybe somewhere else. But if you need them that tight, then it's gonna be harder to get because you could buy 15 to 20s anywhere. They are all over the place. You type in compression stockings into Amazon, I guarantee most of them will be 15 to 20. And what those numbers mean are how tight it is. So MMHG, I've looked it up. It means mercury, millis, I don't know. It means something, but <laughs> essentially it's just how tight the stockings are and how much pressure they put on your veins and on your legs. So the higher the number, the more pressure they put on. If you are a runner or maybe you're pregnant and you just need a little extra blood flow, 15 to 20 might be just fine for you. If maybe you are really struggling in your pregnancy or you have a lighter medical condition, then you might wanna go to a 20 to 30. Or if you're like me and you have a medical condition that makes it really hard for your blood to flow and you need a lot of pressure there, you might be more in the 30 to 40 range or maybe even more. So talk to your doctor. I obviously don't know what you need. I have no idea. But from the people I've talked to and you know, friends of mine who have been pregnant, who've come to me for compression stocking advice, it seems like typically like our pregnant people are in the lower range. Most of my friends didn't need it. Also, they're extremely hard to get on. So that's something to remember. The more pressure, the harder they on, are to get on. These ones here that are the uh, running socks, I'm pretty sure these are 20 to 30, which is the tightest I could find in like a typical running sock. These are significantly easier to put on than these ones. So I'm going to show you how I put them on. It's nothing fancy. I literally just roll up the top, put it over my toes, and then slowly move it up my leg. <laughs> That's it. And I have tried the gloves. I have tried the little trinkets and things that are supposed to help you put them on. I just find that the best way to put them on is to put them on every day to practice. Now, if you don't need them every day, obviously don't wear them every day. But the more you practice, the easier it gets. I've talked to people who are like, yeah, I know compression socks help but I just don't have the time or energy to put them on every day. And to me, it's like medication. Like I am taking my medicine by putting these on. It makes a huge difference for me. And maybe it doesn't for you. I don't know. But whether it does or not, I will tell you that the more you put them on, the better you get at it. Like it doesn't even cross my mind as like a problem to put them on. The only time I really go for these is literally if I'm like, I'm going to be in bed all day and probably just get up to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna need these to walk to the bathroom, but they'll all be just fine. If I'm doing anything, playing with my kids, going to the grocery store, I, I will pass out if I'm not wearing these tight ones. And so for me, it is such a huge difference. So you can watch all the tips and tricks and buy all the things to help you put them on, but the only way you're really gonna learn how to put them on is by putting them on a lot because once you do it, you just kind of figure it out and it becomes not a big deal. And again, if they start to rip, they're going to hurt more because they'll be really tight in that one spot. 
So if they start to rip, go buy yourself a new pair. These ones, I think, are around... 30 to $40 a piece. I want to say they're about 35. It can vary depending on the tightness level and all that. So I will link my favorites of uh, one pair of exercise ones and I will link the Jobst brand, my favorite brand, in all of the different tightness levels that they have as well as open toe versus closed toe. And I'm telling you these open toes for summer game changing. And I'm able to put these super tight ones on even when I'm huge and pregnant. So you can do it too. Just practice my friend. And let me know if you have a favorite brand that is not Jobs because clearly I'm obsessed with these, but I'm open to suggestions. Okay. So let me know and I'll see you on the next video.